Hello, this is Human Wave. Today, let's talk about the Behringer Pro VS Mini, a recreation of the Prophet VS. It has four vector morphing oscillator, and like the other Behringer Mini synth, it has an analog filter in paraphonic mode. Now, contrary to the CZ1, uh, recent CZ1, and also uh, the JT4000, uh, I will say there is more control, physical control, for it. Um, uh, it's still not ideal, however. For example, for each of the envelope, you have to switch. For each of the oscillator, you have to switch here and select the oscillator number uh, through you know, the wheel. Um, and basically, there is for each of the A, C, uh, A to D oscillator, there is a 128 waveform to choose from. So today, I will show you how you can edit this uh, using a, an iPad and an editor I've made with the Touch OSC platform. Um, let's dive in. So a quick note on the setup. The Pro VS Mini is class compliant. It's connected through uh, USB-C to my iPad, which is still a lightning version uh, with a camera adapter having uh, also power supply. And uh, this way it can both send the MIDI information and power the synth. All right, so here is the editor connected uh, in action. Um, so compared to the previous uh, panels that I've made for the CZ1 and uh, for the JT4000M, this is a bit uh, different. Um, the reason is because the Provius Mini basically has um, many selectable waveform uh, for each of its A, B, C, D oscillator. And it's kind of the wavetable kind of thing um, with, you know, the documentation providing uh, a complete list of what these waveforms are. And to be able to put this uh, in my editor, I had several design possibility. But unfortunately, with the TorchOS CMK1, at least, there is no proper way to display a list. So I had to rely on making a matrix of uh, going from 0 to 127 for each of the uh, oscillator. And basically, you select these uh, by referencing uh, a number here for each of the oscillator. And I've also uh, highlighted the key, I will say, very interesting oscillator that I have found with some colors so that I can, you know, jump on them very easily. But again, all the oscillator, all the 128 uh, waveform for each of the A, B, C, D are freely selectable directly through the interface. So um, let's start with a, a just nice, you know, trancy, plucky sound. Start a small sequence. <laughs> Here I'm going to select different waveforms and different course tune for each of the pitch. We can also detune, fine tune each oscillator. Here, I'm selecting this pulse plus overtone for each of the four uh, vectors. Or I can select any kind of other waveform. Let's say, like, I'm using a saw again, so I'm going to the yellow highlighted dots. 
Portamento, the LFO2 specifies, I think, the pitch LFO and the LFO1 is the uh, filter. We can select the waveform, we can also select different effects. Um, chorus, I think the chorus is the strongest. The reverb is a bit lame to my taste, but it's there. And yeah, I, I'm one of the, the, the main point missing in the CC implementation and, and really a, a, a big miss is that there is no proper control of the vector envelope. So you can control the envelope of the VCF and the VCA, but you cannot control, uh, you know, basically how the vector evolve over time, which will be very, very useful to automate and to be able to capture this in an editor. But that, again, is not the editor's fault, is because just the CC implementation is not there. All right, that's it. Just a quick demo. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, one thing uh, in addition to say about the editor is that, like with my previous panels, I have not been able to make uh, the control here react to the previous control themselves, meaning that if you change uh, a patch on the previous, it's not going to make all the parameter here jump in place. I don't know if it's because of the Pro uh, VS itself or is it because of the TouchOS CMK1 platform. Uh, in any case, uh, I think the panel can still be very useful. Um, I've make, uh, put a link down um, for you to use it. Uh, it's free. Um, I hope you can make some very good sound out of it and, and find interesting uh, patches for the Pro VS. If you like this kind of video, uh, please subscribe to my channel. That would be very helpful. Thank you again, and I see you next time.